the Irish Nurses and Midwives Organisation took industrial action with the first of a series of 24-hour work stoppages in an effort to secure pay parity. If they address pay, if they address the restoration and the parity that we're asking for, that is the centre point to getting staffing levels to change in a realistic manner. If staffing levels change in a realistic manner, then all of the issues around safety and patient care and waiting times and underutilised facilities are going to change drastically. Nurses on the picket lines of the Rotunda Hospital in Dublin explained why the nationwide strike was happening. Our young nurses are on such low pay as well. Now, how can anyone bring up children and family and that as well? Like the, the, the salaries are so bad. Nobody can buy a house or anything anymore or live a comfortable, not even a comfortable life, but, you know, without struggling so much. Our graduates are not on a par with other health professionals. Like if you have a midwife who's done a four-year degree, then done a master's programme, and she is competing with the like dietitians, physio. She's not on any way a uh, same uh, income uh, level as them. And why, why is there not parity of income for people who put in the same and who have such an important role in life as we do? Because all workers indeed should stand together. This group of workers have taken on a government on the basis of uh, defending the public service, on the basis of looking for a decent pay to do the job they do every day. And as fellow trade unionists, we're just extending a hand of support and solidarity and saying that it's really, really important that we all stand together. If in the future we're taking industrial action, we will look for support from other unions, so we, ha we extend our hand of solidarity to them today. The Labour Court stated they would not intervene over the dispute by the INMO over pay parity. This is the second time in 100 years that the INMO have gone on strike. I'm Koch Cadden with DCU TV News.